Hi there, Titans. My name is Paige, and today I will be showing you how to create a Word document that can be exported using a button in Salesforce. The button today will be placed on the Opportunity object, but I will be able to pull in fields from both the, the Opportunity object along with the Opportunity products, the account information related to the Opportunity, and some contact information that is related to the account that is on this Opportunity. So let's go over to our Word application. And I'll show you how to install the Form Titan Word add-in. So here is a document that I've created. I've kind of listed out some of the fields that I want to pull in for this document. And I will be adding a table as well. So to add in our form titan add-in go to add-ins type in form titan and you can click add and continue now i've already installed this add-in once you install it you will see this little um, tab here and then you can go ahead and sign in to your form titan account All right, so let's start pulling in our fields from Salesforce. So you'll first click on Insert, Edit, and you can put your cursor where you'd like the field to be entered. So my object is going to be Opportunity, and this is where also the object that I want this button to be placed on for future reference. So I'm going to type in Get Opportunity here. You can create any comment just so that you're able to find it later. This first one will be name. And now I'll be pulling in the amount. Always make sure that you use the same git. So instead of typing in opportunity and creating multiple gits, I use that same git from above. Now I will be pulling in the account information which is a lookup field from the opportunity record. So I got the opportunity and then I'm going to reference the account ID. It says set reference field and I did account name and I will do the same for the next three fields. So we'll go to insert edit field. We'll choose opportunity still. Select field will be account ID. And then the reference field will be the primary contact, which is another reference field. And that is where we can pull in their name. Insert edit field. Let's use that same get that we've been using. Get opportunity, account ID primary contact, phone number, right? Yep, phone number, insert, again, insert edit field, get opportunity, account ID, primary contact, email, insert. All right, now let's create a table. So we'll go to insert and edit table. And this is going to be the opportunity product object. I'll give it a comment, say get opportunity list item. And then we can pull in the fields that we want to be on this table. So I'll use the name, the sales price, and the quantity, 
Let's add another one for description. All right, so we can say insert table. And here we go. Here we have it. Now I'm going to do a little bit of editing to this form. These um, words in the middle are just for our use. So you're able to delete these or um, just make, a, make it one letter instead. So you're able to still format those text fields, but um, I like to get rid of the additional letters so that I can free up some space and set my document to be generated the way that I prefer it to look. So once again, like those, those words between our brackets are not um, anything, any type of code. It's really just for our, our own um, understanding of what is being pulled in. One thing that I forgot to show you was that the um, amounts, because they are money, I just changed them so that they um, would have that dollar sign. So what I did was just, I put my cursor in the middle of those brackets for that field. I clicked on insert edit field and then uh, field format, I configured it to be the money sign. And then I'm just removing the text from the inside again. All right, so I'm now pulling in the opportunity ID just so that I can test this. So for the filters, I typed, I just grabbed the opportunity ID and I'm gonna save that so that we can preview this. And then for the, the list item ID, we want the opportunity ID to equal the record ID from our first get. So I used opportunity ID equals opportunity ID, and then I can click all because we want all of the opportunity products from this opportunity record. All right, let's just preview this. And once again, I just used a um, sample opportunity ID so that I'm able to see what this would look like um, when it is generated from Salesforce. So now that we have finished creating our document, we will copy to publish. So you should click on copy to publish always as this is best practice. Now I will make sure we get rid of that old opportunity ID that we used for the test and replace it with the record ID. Now I can type in the name that I want this form to be called. And I can click publish. All right, so let's go to the new dashboard by clicking on that check it button. And this is our new dashboard that we'll be working with today. I went into the opportunity line item document that was created and then click on word mapping. Go to Salesforce button, configure, and we're checking that the object is correct and because I will be installing a lightning button, here are the instructions that I will be using. And then we can go into the App Exchange. If you already have your Form Titan app installed, then you will not need to do this process. But if you have not installed the Form Titan app on through App Exchange, then follow these instructions. So I'm just typing in Form Titan in my App Exchange that I was able to access via the setup. And now we can install our Form Titan package. We 
can say install to this org, or you can use Sandbox if you'd like. You may not need to fill out this information if you have already signed in before. All right, and then you can click confirm. I'll install for all users. And then this process may take longer than it did for me, but um, installation should complete in just a few seconds or minutes. And now it is time for us to follow these instructions to create our button. So I will go into the object manager, find the object that our button will be on, which for me it is opportunity, which I also discussed when we first started our Word document um, creation process. So I went to opportunity, buttons, links, and actions. Let's create a new one. And then it has to be that lightning component, form builder, PDF. So let's find that. There it is, lightning component. That's the only object. And then we're going to make the height 870 px. All right, let me find a label. I am going to call this, actually, I'm going to call it generate form Titan document because um, we can do more than just print these documents. We can email them out. Um, this is also how you would um, generate any sign signing documents and email them out to multiple signers. All right, let me click and save on this. And we are good to go. Let's just add it to our page layout. Go to opportunity layout or whichever object you're using. And then go to mobile and lightning buttons and drag it over. Perfect. Save. Now there is just a couple more steps that we need to do. We need to add a collaborator so that people are able to generate these documents. And then we also need to um, save our URL. But let's add the collaborator. I'm going to add myself, but you are able to add as many collaborators as you have on your uh, Form Titan account. And then go ahead and give permission for these collaborators to submit that document. And then you just need to save your um, URL by going to your dashboard settings, document generation, and then click apply. And it says success. So now we can refresh our opportunity we find our button has been set. And then when I click on it, we can see all of the documents that I have permission to see, which is just this one for now. Then I can click on the preview button. The other button would be a way to email it to people. And here we have it. We have our document that is pulling in information from multiple objects on Salesforce that are connected to this opportunity. And you can make this as funky as you would like. Lots of, you can do a lot more formatting and beautification of these documents as well. I just wanted to show you the functionality of this process. I hope this video has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.